Welcome to Real Physics and this little series of superhuman intelligence benchmarks. And today I'm going to talk about Dirac's second large number hypothesis. Now, what is this? Just a brief recap. The first of Dirac's large number hypothesis is the ratio of the electric and the gravitational force, which is 10 to the 40, is related to the size of the universe and the size of the proton. Okay, very nice thing. And as I said in this video, it's probably more insightful phrased in this terms relating the microscopic quantities, radius of the proton, mass of the proton, Planck's constants, and the speed of light. Now, I mean, if you observe just one of these coincidences, okay, you may say, well, I don't believe it could be just something numerical, but it's like going to another continent and you accidentally meet a friend there. But if you meet two friends, okay, this is not a coincidence anymore. And so Dirac's second observation is even more intriguing maybe in that respect, because you have this large number, 10 to the 40 in two different instances in physics, and you have another huge number, 10 to the 80, okay? The square of this number, and where does it show up? You divide the mass of the universe by the mass of the proton, which is the only stable heavy particle, let's say, or phrase it more simply, the number of particles in the universe, essentially, it's 10 to the 80, it's the square of that number. And it cannot be coincidence, because if you encounter two of these strange things, so th there must be something, this is just my conviction. But okay, it would shred to pieces conventional cosmology. So most scientists are still skeptical, even if I think they are mistaken. Anyway, so this is something to solve for a future super intelligence, I guess. And well, you may phrase it also in another way. Think about the entire universe, the volume, collect all the elementary particles and make of all these protons a huge carpet. And now this carpet would be approximately the surface of that universe, right? There is something inherently strange regarding three and two dimensions here, because the world is obviously three-dimensional, but the number of particles, also the number of galaxies, or, or even more precisely, the distribution of galaxies has something to do with two dimensions. Even if you roll out all the protons of a galaxy to a surface, you almost get the surface of the galaxy. This is another coincidence on the galactic level, which plays, of course, a little bit with that Dirac second large number hypothesis. Anyway, there is something very deep, I think, in these relations. And unfortunately, we humans haven't been able to find it out yet. So my hope is, or I, I mean, I would have liked that humans would have been able to do that, but my hope is with artificial intelligence always becoming smarter, one day it could solve that problem and that would be certainly to be considered superhuman. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.